Hi, welcome to a new unboxing and quick analysis of a 3D Googles associated with the 3D FPV camera. So this is the LT2 uh, 3D Googles associated with the Coromix C600 uh, 3D FPV camera. So this bundle comes with this uh, dark box, okay, and what you will find inside. Um, first of all, we will find this instruction manual where uh, you can find the uh, uh, manual for the uh, 3D Googles only. So basically you have two different models, the RT2 or the RT2C. Uh, the main difference between both models, the RT2C is able to uh, display uh, some 3D source as well as only 2D, okay? So it's a big positive of the 2C. Uh, today I will only uh, do the uh, analysis of the RT2, okay? So basically uh, what you will find as parameters, uh, you have inside a 5 inch FPV monitors, okay? Able to display by 800 by 480 up to uh, 75 frames per second. Uh, you can adjust either 16, uh, 9 or 4, uh, 3 uh, in the display ratio. And the good news, you can adjust the distance of your, uh, the pupil. So that's pretty good. The uh, brightness sensitivity is around 400 CD by millimeter square. And you can also adjust the contrast, saturation, brightness, uh, thanks to uh, a menu settings. The field of view is assumed to be around 90 degrees, which is not bad, and this model is including a 32 uh, 5.0 gigahertz uh, receiver, okay, and uh, welcoming uh, RPC map port to welcome your favorite uh, antenna, and uh, the, um, well, it's assumed to have a PAL source, and the input power for this uh, 3D Google is uh, in a wide voltage range from 6.8 volt up to 24. Okay, so uh, with the uh, 2C, you are able also to uh, able to uh, handle as well a 2D or 3D camera. Um, here are the basic instructions. So you have to know that with this bundle, you have only the instruction of the Googles, no thing for the uh, camera. But anyway, uh, for the RT2, you have to know that the switch uh, button to select between the band and the frequency is located on the top uh, right position of the uh, Googles, okay? And you have the different band, classic 32 channel, uh, 5.8 gigahertz uh, video transmitter, so, from the band A, E, F, and so on. So let's decover the bundle. Here is the uh, Google, okay? Um, inside this uh, plastic bag, so it's RT2, the APC CMA, and on the lateral side, you can guess a USB port to uh, welcome the power. Nothing else from the uh, different side, okay? And as said in the instruction manual, you can adjust the, how you can see, the pupil's distance thanks to this two uh, front uh, slider here, okay? So uh, it's a little bit heavy, okay? That's something like 400 grams, okay? So what also you will find, you will find a bag with the, uh, uh, for the 3D Googles, I will explain later, the uh, linear antenna for the uh, uh, Googles, and here this is the XT60 uh, connector ending with the USB to pour your uh, 3D Google with, for example, a 3S a LiPo with the XT60 connector, and this GST1 is nothing else than the way to uh, use this uh, three, uh, switch toggle button to enter into the menu and to adjust some settings like brightness, saturation, aspect ratio, and so on. Okay. Finally, here is the uh, uh, 3D camera. So, in the first glance, I can say it's EV, okay? It's la more than 100 grams, it's 115 grams to be more exact. And I, I think the main reason is this uh, metallic uh, structure, okay, housing, so I don't know why they didn't try to do a plastic one, anyway, so you have this a double 
a lens uh, system for the stereoscopy, of course. Um, and on the rear side, you will find some a big uh, micro, uh, mini USB, okay? You will have to use uh, this cable, this do-it-yourself cable, and a two micro one, I don't know exactly what they are used for, as well as the switch, okay? So I don't have any instruction manual for this uh, camera, so uh, uh, what I know, uh, you have to use this switch, switch uh, cable, okay? This uh, do-it-yourself cable, to uh, plug to your uh, favorite 5.8 gears video transmitter. And I have to, you have to know that the minimum input voltage is around a 7 volt up to 24, okay? The nominal is around 12 volt. I guess the uh, black wire is the ground, the red is the plus uh, 12, and uh, you have the two uh, signal wires going to your favorite video transmitter. So maybe it's one is one video and one you or probably uh, two video, okay? So uh, you have to know that uh, this um, uh, FPV camera is using one unique, uh, uh, I guess, one unique uh, 5 dot gigahertz channel. So it will uh, probably uh, collapse the two images in the same bandwidth of uh, this FPV uh, 5 dot gigahertz uh, band. Okay, so um, now I will try to uh, solder some GST connector and to plug to a video transmitter to make some try. Okay, so now I will give the uh, exact weight of the uh, 3D camera. So, uh, as you know, there is a metallic casing and uh, unfortunately impacting a lot on the uh, uh, total weight of this camera. So you have something like 109 that five grams go so close to 110 grams, it's a lot. I'm pretty sure if you're designing a plastic or 3D printable housing, you will gain a lot of uh, uh, weight, okay, to, it. I think it's a very important mod to do, so I will disassemble later this 3D camera. So now I also modded the provided uh, do-it-yourself cable. So for example, I install a GST connector, okay? So um, I will be able to power through a 2S, 3S uh, input power. And also, because I was not sure, I also installed some uh, Dupont uh, connector there. So you have to know that the uh, video signal for the video transmitter is the white one, okay? So uh, it's pretty easy now to uh, show. Um, so I will use this uh, basic 200 milliwatts video transmitter. There are a lot of in the market, but you have to know that, for example, uh, this motor uh, welcome a GST connector. Okay, so I will uh, power the same, uh, um, the same uh, with the same lipo, the video transmitter as well as the uh, uh, 3D camera. So uh, with this video transmitter, the pin three is the uh, video input. So Okay, so I will connect the white uh, wire from the 3D camera. Okay, so the first thing I will do is uh, to uh, connect the uh, do-it-yourself cable through the GST connector, like this. Okay, and connect the 3D camera, okay, through the uh, U mini USB, like this. So now I will have a common input, okay, a 2S LiPo, but as I said, I have to connect the uh, video out of the 3D camera to the video in of the video transmitter thanks to this uh, GST connector or oh, Dupont wire. Now it's plugged and I tune both uh, video transmitter and the receiver, the 3D built-in 3D uh, 5.8 GHz uh, receiver to the E1, the first uh, default of bus cam band. So now I will power the uh, 3D Googles Okay, through a 3S LiPo, so you have this blue, and now uh, I will power through a 2S LiPo, the uh, combo video transmitters, okay, plus the uh, uh, 3D Google uh, camera. Okay, so now it's fire, and as you can see, I hope you can see, I can see the uh, the uh, 3D, the image in 3D, yes, so you can tune exactly for your own. And the, well, if I can turn my head and it's 
pretty uh, efficient. The, well, so the 3D effect is pretty good. You can dissociate the different in different plane, okay, from the foreground to the background, all the images. No, the rendition is not bad at all, okay. Uh, the quality is, of course, uh, not fantastic because uh, the two uh, channels are sharing the same 5.8 GHz video band, so no miracle. It means that uh, the uh, Pearl signal have been uh, for each channel have been divided in two, uh, numerical. But uh, the the remaining uh, quality is still pretty good. Okay, uh, concerning the uh, display of this uh, 3D Google, it's in the average. I think uh, you can guess the uh, a pixel inside the LCD display. So, um, okay, that's. Uh, maybe a drawback of these uh, Googles. Uh, anyway, uh, it's working well, and uh, as you can see, the total weight of this video transmitter plus the cable plus uh, the uh, 3D camera, it's something like uh, 150 grams, it's a lot, you know, so uh, you have definitively to reduce the weight by at least changing the uh, metallic casing, okay, this one, and probably to include directly inside the housing the uh, video transmitter and to exit directly with the antenna. Okay, so it was the uh, unboxing and quick testing of the uh, uh, LT2 uh, 3D Google associated with the uh, Coramix 3D camera. Uh, of course, I will try to fly with a racer uh, through the um, uh, the, with this uh, combo, but it will be hard to uh, to show you the rendition because it's uh, unfortunately uh, it's pretty hard because I cannot record separately the two channels. Anyway, I will give you my feeling if uh, this system is working. You have to know generally that uh, 3D uh, stereoscopic uh, FPV is more efficient for a proximity flight when you have a lot of uh, when you are very close to the ground and uh, close to the trees, but in altitudes is close to be uh, useless because the, uh, you cannot distinguish between the foreground to the background, okay, all the distance tends to infinity in very uh, high altitude. Okay, I uh, hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you for watching. See you next time. Bye-bye.